What you guys got another product review today we're looking at the quilt 2 and quilt 3 now this is the best alternative for cloud storage for your phone and as you can see here the quilt 2 comes with 1.2 gigahertz processor usb 2.0 100 mbs also we have 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi on the quilt 3 we have 1.5 gigahertz processor usb 3.0 one GPS and also five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which means you can transfer a lot more data a lot more faster. Now, if you're one of these paranoid peeps that don't like to upload data to the cloud, then having something like the Quilt 2 or 3 is ideal because it means you never have to play for uh, cloud storage again. And also you can have this all on your home network. It works with Mac. It works with Windows. You can see here, you can also get it from the Google Play Store and the Apple Store to get the app. You can uh, connect to it anywhere in the world and transfer your files at any uh, given time. You can also view them on your TV and stuff like that. So it's very useful. Now this is everything you're going to get inside the box. You've got your quick start guide. It's three simple steps to get this set up and you can start transferring all your uh, media from your phone over to your uh, quilt 2 or 3. You've got an HDMI cable. This is so it can go to your TV or any sort of monitor screen here. You've got your Ethernet cable. It also works on Wi-Fi as well. If you want to use Wi-Fi, you can do. But if you want to have it on the Ethernet, you can do. Comes with a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive. You can use your own uh, mechanical devices like a mechanical drive or SSD drive, an external SSD drive if you wanted to. You got your power adapter here with an array of different power adapters for different countries. This one is for the UK and there's a bunch of other ones here like the US and uh, other parts of Europe as well. These are very simple to do. All you need to do here is choose the connection of your choice here and just slide it onto the little pins on here. And once you've got that on there, just give it a little turn and there we go. And you've now got your plug in place we need to do now is get this set up and then we can start transferring our files to this lovely little device now as you can see it's no bigger than an android tv box now on the back here we do have a usb port here we have an sp diff port and also an av port hdmi port ethernet port and also that power port to power the actual device itself so moving on to the other side of the device we have input ports and these are for input to put stuff onto the device itself you've got a micro sd card here and you've also got uh, a usb port on there and the other two usb ports are for usb one usb 3.0 and one usb 2.0 and these are just for plugging in your hard drives on the bottom we do have some ventilation and some anti-slip rubber feet on the bottom and also what we can do is get this set up it doesn't draw a lot of power but if you are one of these people that don't back up your phone often then something like this is going to be very useful and i'll show you how quick and easy it is to get it set up now you can either scan the qr code on the pamphlet there to get the app or you can go to the app store and download the app and install it it's that simple once you've got this installed you can just set up your account now just want to take note here you can see where I've got this USB uh, on here this is not the place to put it you want to put it at the back here I've got the power input here and the HDMI cable plugged in and you should see a display on the TV if you're using an HDMI cable here plugged into a TV or monitor now once we've got this set up here you'll be able to open up the application now you will need to create an account here it's very quick and easy to do so just quickly create an account give it a nice strong password it will say your quilt device has been detected click yes and then we can go through this procedure where it's connecting to your device so just go next here and now you've got a three-step process here so give the device a name and a password okay so just give it a really strong password here so uh, it's nice and secure on your network and you can see here all your memories at your fingertips it will copy all these files across you can share them across your social media also back up your mobile phone to this device find your photos and videos that you want really easily and also copy them from an sd card as well you can share via shared links 
and you can also do a load of other stuff here. Now I've blurred out the images here because some of these are of my grandson and stuff like that so I don't want those being on the internet so I've blurred those out but if you do want to copy files across I'll quickly show you uh, just doing one file here. Now this is how you want it set up at the back here you can see I've got the USB in the uh, back part. Do not put the USB that you're trying to copy to into the yellow area which is the input area because if you do it won't work and it will say you need to plug in your USB device and this means you've got it plugged into the wrong place okay so don't plug it into here it won't back up you need to plug it into one of the other USB ports. Now you can use a, an external drive or whatever it is you want to use it does come with a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive I've got my Ethernet plugged in and also my HDMI and power and we've got the device booted up so I've got this one photo here I'm just going to quickly show you click on this one here if I just want to copy this from my phone to the quilt I just need to click on this one here it will start to copy across you can see how quick and instantaneous that was click OK and it will give you a message saying do you want to delete this from your phone or keep it so if you want to wipe the phone afterwards you could do so I'm going to say keep because I want to keep all my photos on my phone as well and basically that's what you can do. Now you can do this with a bunch of other uh, files. I'm just going to push play here to play on my quilt as you can see here and once you've done this you can go to your TV screen or your monitor and they should be rotating through okay and this is what you can do but I've only done one just to show you here but if you've got a bunch of them you'll see it playing and you'll be able to stream them straight to your TV very useful and easy to do and it's a nice little added feature on there now also you've got all your settings here so your sources your preferences and all your account details you can go through here and set it all up you can add more than one device here if you want to uh, to this actual unit you've got all your device settings here and also you've got all your information in order from date and the amount of items are there it's a very useful bit of kit if you don't want to upload all your stuff to the cloud anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you're interested i'll leave all the information in the video description bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos